Let's begin using the modeling tool to create our road. We'll start by creating a plane and adjusting its parameters to match the desired size and shape of our road. Using the modeling tool, we'll create a plane in the scene and adjust its parameters such as width, length, and thickness to define the road's dimensions. By referencing the mannequin size, we ensure that our road is appropriately scaled for our game environment. Let's open Quixel Bridge and navigate to the Megascans library. Here, we can find a wide variety of high quality surface textures. Now, let's search for and download the surface texture that best matches our road. Quixel Megascans provides a vast selection of textures to choose from. With our texture downloaded, let's import it into Unreal Engine. We'll create a new material to apply the texture to. Now, let's open the Material Editor and set up the Quixel Megascans Blend Material. This material allows us to blend multiple textures seamlessly. Using the blend material, we can adjust parameters such as roughness, metallic, and blending options to create a realistic road texture. Finally, let's apply the Quixel Megascans blend material to our road mesh in the scene. This will give our road texture a lifelike appearance. Now, let's select our road material and start experimenting with the blending options. We can layer different textures to add variation and detail to our road. Using the blending tool, we can adjust parameters such as opacity, roughness, and blending modes to fine tune the appearance of our road texture as we blend different textures together. We can see how the realism of our road texture is enhanced. This adds depth and complexity to the material. By experimenting with different blending options, we can create a road texture that looks natural and convincing. It's incredible how the blending tool allows us to achieve such realistic results. Now, let's carefully examine the parameters and settings of the blend material. We'll pay close attention to how each texture is blended together to achieve the desired effect. As we tweak the blending options, let's observe how they affect the appearance of our road texture. We'll pay attention to details such as roughness, specular, and overall texture quality. By comparing different blending configurations, we can determine which one gives us the most visually appealing result. It's fascinating to see how subtle changes in blending can make a big difference in the final look of our road texture.
before diving into the blend material setup. Ensure that your textures are in the correct format. To do this, simply right click on each texture and ensure it's set as a normal texture. This step is crucial for seamless texture replacement within the blend material. Once confirmed, you're ready to proceed with creating your realistic road using Quixel Megascan's blend materials. Let's get started. After careful observation and experimentation, we finalize the settings of our road texture. It now looks more realistic and visually pleasing, thanks to the power of the blend material. First, let's select our road mesh and open the Mesh Painting tool. This tool allows us to paint additional textures directly onto the mesh for more realism. Now, Let's choose a texture to paint onto the road. We can select details like tire marks, cracks or dirt to add more realism to our road texture. With our texture selected, let's adjust the brush settings and start painting onto the road mesh. This process allows us to add variation and detail to the road surface. As we paint additional textures onto the road, we can see how it enhances the overall appearance making it look more weathered and realistic. To further refine the painted textures, we can adjust parameters such as opacity and roughness to achieve the desired effect by carefully painting additional textures and adjusting parameters. We can create a road texture that looks weathered and realistic, adding to the immersion of our scene. Here, you can see me using the mesh painting tool to add details like tire marks, cracks, and dirt to the road surface. These small details help make the road look weathered and worn, adding to the realism of our scene.
As I paint, I pay close attention to the brush settings and adjust parameters like opacity and roughness to achieve the desired effect. It's essential to take your time and experiment with different textures to create a convincing result. Notice how each stroke of the brush adds depth and character to the road texture. By carefully layering textures and adjusting parameters, we can create a road that looks like it has been used and weathered over time. As you can see, mesh painting is a powerful tool for adding realism to our environment. By adding these small details, we can elevate the quality of our project and create a more immersive experience for players. I want you to watch the video carefully to understand how mesh painting works. Pay close attention to the demonstration and observe the techniques used to add details to the road texture. Notice how different textures are applied using the mesh painting tool and how each stroke of the brush contributes to the realism of the road surface. Take your time to understand the process. As mesh painting is a powerful tool for adding realism and detail to environments in Unreal Engine. Let's dive in and watch the video.
Watch as I navigate to the material editor and select the blue channel of our road texture. This channel contains information that we can use to create puddles on the road surface. By utilizing the blue channel, we can create a mask that defines where puddles will appear on the road. This allows us to add realistic water accumulation in low-lying areas. As you can see, I'm adjusting various parameters and settings to control the size, shape, and opacity of the puddles. This customization helps us achieve the desired look for our road surface.
First, let's adjust the camera angle to capture the scene from the desired perspective. By manipulating the camera's position and rotation, we can find the perfect angle to showcase our work. Next, let's modify the camera attributes to resemble those of a DSLR camera. This includes adjusting settings such as aperture, shutter speed, and focal length to achieve a cinematic look. Now, let's change the aspect ratio of the camera to match the desired format for our final presentation. This ensures that our scene is displayed correctly and looks its best when viewed. Lastly, we'll fine-tune the camera settings to ensure that the view effectively showcases the scene. This may involve adjusting parameters such as depth of field, exposure, and focus to enhance the visual appeal.